Hi, Aries. It's Elle here to do your Oracle reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All right, Aries. So it looks like something is falling apart, but you might have a slight chance of hope of holding on to it or making it work or bringing it back. You know, if you believe, you can. If you remain positive and maybe align yourself with helpful people and you don't stop working on yourself or the relationship or vice versa. Someone else does this. OK, um, but right now the opportunity to kind of let it go is here and to have a peaceful resolution, whether it's you agree to disagree, come back together and everything is peaches and cream or not exactly sure, but something is falling apart. And someone is saying, look, I'm, I'm so sorry I was an idiot because maybe I was or I am a drama queen or king. Someone is feeling like this, this situation, if it's negative, is never going to change. If it's positive, then it's going to stay the same constancy here. Someone is trying to think of ways of how they can restore this, how they can bring it back, how they can use wisdom to maybe gain forgiveness, how they can come up with a plan to a daily issue, daily problem here. There may be need for you to take off, take a journey. Um, there also may be self discovery here to where some harmonious change takes place, where it brings harmony to you and the people around you or vice versa. This is what someone around you is doing. There's a need for you to get out more, be more social to socialize. Uh, to go to a social event because your your social skills may be a little rocky here um, or sh or they like shabby or they're like rusty. Maybe you you are communicating too harshly. You feel like it's hard to communicate with someone in authority, maybe a boss, land a landlord or someone who has authority over you. Um, you feel like it's hard to communicate with them and you feel like nothing is going to come of this uh, situation here. But the cards are asking you to hold your vision because once again, you still have opportunity to rectify this, to reconcile it. Keep in mind that the Tarot, the fortune cards, all of this stuff is the current energy, right? So if someone is telling you your relationship is falling apart, a thinking mind, uh, a person who wants it to not fall apart would go home and try to do things to make it not fall apart, trying to fix it. So that's all that these readings should be about for you is knowing the current energy now and maybe the fact that you can't fix it. Um, it could because we are co-creators in our universe. You're not a robot. Um, you know, so, so you have opportunity. Okay. Um, the cards want you to step out of your, your comfort zone here, Aries. Uh, maybe you're not being as vulnerable as you can be. Uh, also you are, uh, holding on too tightly, maybe too obsessed with something. Also, there's an energy of some of you. It's been me, 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 me in your relationship and you're not seeing that you're being very selfish. You're being somewhat like a drama queen or a king, or this is how someone else is appearing to you. It's all about them. It's all about them. Every conversation leads back to them. Okay. There is an individual. This card speaks of a man who's pining over you, the relationship, maybe because they can't get to you. They can't have you. They can't be in a relationship with you. Uh, something ended. Uh, they're too focused on the outcome and not on getting there. Um, this person could be married or in a commitment, um, and, but they're desiring to have contact communication with you. Yeah. And they may even write you, text you, email you. Um, but it is a cheateration situation. I know that's not a word, but that's our word. It is a cheating situation. It is, um, Someone trying to get away with something. Someone is being a thief, still in time away with you from something else or from someone else. Don't trust this individual too much because this is like the love them and leave them. 
because they're committed to whatever they're doing right now and it's not to you okay so it might be a no-go for that relationship so you might need to let it go you and someone else are soulmates twin flames they feel like you're a material girl or material guy and that you're just an absolute drama queen the relationship is it's repairable but you gotta act fast okay because this energy of maybe this fiery climax, right, is, is gaining momentum where some there might be a clash. There may be an argument. But they want you to know that if you switch gears, there's a win-win outcome forecast for you, okay? Um, this guy here. For some of you, this might be a different story. This guy wants to be single, okay? And he'll engage with you, have sex with you, blah, blah, blah with you, but he wants to be single, okay? Because he or she can't choose, okay? And they want you to forgive them if they misled you. And they also want to say that your friends and your family cause a lot of drama. Then there's also an energy where someone is here for you, uh, presenting themselves to you. This could be that individual pining over you. Maybe you let them go. You cut it out. You cut them off. But they're saying, look, I cheated in the past, but I am faithfully yours now. And they want you to know that they're happiest when they're with you. Okay. So Aries, it looks like there's somebody trying to get forgiveness from you, want to talk to you, trying to come up with a plan or, or trying to fix something or learn something about something in order so for it to be fixed. There's also a drama queen or king here. There's someone who's materialistic. There's someone who's all about themselves, which is causing, you know, dissension in the relationship, which could lead to a fiery climax. Um, someone needs to tone it down a bit, bring it back, ground themselves so that they can have um, this relationship if this is what they want, okay? Somebody here needs to hone or cultivate better social skills, get out there, have more fun also. This card also talks about getting out there and having more fun. So does this one. Um, so Aries, I hope that this reading resonates for you, that you took something from it. If you did, go over to the website, book your own oracle reading just like this one or any reading um also if you have a question or two you can text it to the number below pay for your question receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device thank you aries take care many blessings